What's going on my fellow troops? My name is Avo and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'm going to be bringing you the best Grozer assault rifle class in Black Ops Cold War Zombies. But real quick, I just want to say that I heard that there's a whopping 95.7% of you that are not subscribed to the channel in the past 28 days. So if that happens to be you and you have absolutely no idea what I upload around here, well basically I upload topic news, tutorials, discussions, gameplays, Whatever it may be inside of Call of Duty, so if that's of absolutely any interest to you, do consider hitting subscribe with the notification bell on right next to it. It takes a second, and it's completely free, and it means a lot. Now, with that being said, let's talk about the Grozer. This is one of those assault rifles that I think most of the time when I was playing Cold War during its life cycle that I didn't actually want to use because I assumed it was bad. Most people told me it was bad. It had a terrible iron sight. But until I actually tried it during the camo grind, I was pleasantly surprised. And this was the class I think I used during the camo grind or at least towards the end of the camo grind. And I actually seem to have a really good class here for you guys. It's very fast fire rate. I think there's this teeny tiniest bit of recoil, but it's super controllable. It does really well at hip fire accuracy and it works in all ranges very, very well. And it's very powerful. The moment you drop into a game, you don't have to worry about even pack a punching it or uh, tearing it up because it's immediately already super powerful as soon as you first come into the game and it'll only get stronger and stronger over the course of the game. So it's a very, very good assault rifle. I know a lot of people probably won't be actively searching for the Grozer because it's not one of those meta weapons, but it's still very useful to use. And I think you guys should definitely check this gun out because it's super underrated. But yeah, so with that being said, hopefully the gameplay showed enough. And let's get into the class setup. Okay, guys. So first thing you want to put on the class is some sort of optic. I am running the Microflex LED because as I have already mentioned, the iron sight is pretty damn garbage for this gun. As you can see, it's ridiculously tall and it's just not very precise. You can't actually see too much outside of the limits of the iron sight walls i guess like the walls of the iron sight kind of make it harder to see what's like around the sides of them this just makes it cleaner for you to see where the zombies actually are and you can get better headshots of course you can select whichever one you prefer and i'm running the muzzle next which is the kg be eliminator which helps control the vertical recoil that i have mentioned that there is quite a bit of on this gun then we're run running the barrel which is the 16.2 gru composite i think i said that correctly helps with the damage range and the bullet velocity these ones i honestly don't see what the point of these are in any way shape or form all they're doing is taking max starting ammo off and damage range and it's just adding strafe speed which isn't really too important but, of course, if you feel that you want to change those up, for whatever reason, let me know in the comments why you would do that. Next, I'm running the body, which is the GRU 5mW laser sight to help with that hit fire accuracy. It's improved by 40%, which is absolutely crazy. Um, that's just a huge number for hit firing. And now we're running the underbow, which is the bruiser grip, and it helps with a bunch of movement speed. Now, I know it does look pretty ugly on this gun, considering I'm using Dark Eva and Bofist, and the magazine look really gross. But if you do have a blueprint, hopefully you'll be able to change those up, you know, make them a matted black or something. Uh, but yeah, sadly, they do look like that by default. Then I'm running the magazine, which is the VDV 50 round fast mag. It's the fastest magazine there is, and it's also 50 rounds, which is the most ammo available on the weapon. So that's why I'm running that. But if you're really bothered about how the gun looks with this on and you want to switch it up for this one at the expense of six ADS speed being added on, then you can do that. That's actually probably a good choice. Um, it's just that I personally wanted to have all the other uh, improvements like max starting ammo. We're running the handle, which is the Gru Elastic Wrap. It helps reduce the ADS speed by 30%, um, which is really useful. It makes it much quicker. And uh, yeah, so that's why I'm running that one. And finally, we're running the stock, which is the CQB pad for sprint to fire time by 30%. So there you go. And yes, I know there's going to be comments asking me, how the fuck have you got that many attachments on your gun? And I get this every single video. It's actually kind of making me happy to say that soon I'm going to finish covering all the weapons in Cold War Zombies so I don't have to keep saying this every damn time I record one of these videos but people want to know how and it's fairly simple all you got to do is come down to skills here come to weapon classes and then you got to find the designated class so in this case it's the assault rifles and you want to tier it up to tier 3 which unlocks three additional attachment slots 
And uh, yeah, so that's how you do that. Very simple. Um, excuse that it says M79 here on the Groza class. I literally called it the M79 because I've had the M79 on here and I usually swap it out when I'm making a video just to put the actual weapon on that I'm going to showcase. But normally I have the M79 here. So, uh, but yeah, that is the class. So hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to smash a like on this video. It lets me know you enjoyed the video and lets YouTube know the video is enjoyed by the audience, which helps out all in all. And if you watch this part without skipping any parts of the video, be sure to comment down below what you would. And uh, yeah, other than that, thank you for watching. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys.